On site at the Leland Old Station, the emissions control project is about 90% finished. Right behind me, you can see the limestone storage building. This building will hold almost two unit trains full of limestone. And in the process of scrubbing sulfur dioxide from flue gas, limestone is where it all begins. The limestone is mined in Montana. From there, it'll head north to LOS by unit train. When it leaves the limestone storage building, the rock will go to ball mills where it'll be crushed to the correct size. It's mixed with water in these tanks to make a slurry. Then it's pumped into the absorber building. Once it's in the absorbers, that's where it actually comes in contact with the flue gas. It'll capture the sulfur out of the flue gas and that basically turns it into a gypsum slurry. At that point, the gypsum slurry gets pumped into the dewatering building. The final step is a, it's a vacuum filter. Basically, the slurry gets put out onto a, vac onto a belt, and there's actually vacuum that, that sucks the water right out of the slurry. The gypsum will be stored here until it's hauled away. Work on the scrubber has been going on since summer of 2007. Now, the project is nearly complete. Just about, but the last 10% is the hardest. Bob Weir supervises the project construction. In August 2009, more than 100 electricians are on the job. Their work is measured in miles. About 21 miles of conduit, uh, approximately 150 miles of uh, cable, and over 23,000 electrical terminations. The electrical work is one more step to finish up before project completion. The scrubber on Unit 2 of LOS will be tied in during the fall of 2010, and the Unit 1 scrubber will be tied in during 2011. At Leland Old Station, I'm Tracy Battenhausen for Basin Electric.